Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what uh, your person's biggest regret. This is going to be a general reading, but it's going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin. What are your person's biggest regret? Okay, the Hierophant, but it's come up in reverse. Okay, this card just sort of flew out there. At the bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands energy. I feel like your person is struggling. I feel like your person is fighting a war within their head and their heart. This is someone who may still, especially if this is someone whom you have disconnected from, if the two of you are at a separation or at a disconnection, if the two of you have been at a distance from one, from one another for a while, I feel like this person is still, like there's still an emotional thread that connects them to you there are still feelings there I feel like this person is trying their hardest to forget about you I feel like this person is trying really hard to to move on this is someone who I feel like is I feel like this is someone who is fighting their feelings so they want to tell themselves that they've moved on they want to tell themselves that maybe you weren't the one for them or that things would have never worked out between the two of you in the first place there is there is a strong energy of them holding on to regrets there's a strong energy of them them still holding on to you and the possibility of what this could have been this person feels as though you didn't necessarily commit to them or you didn't necessarily commit to the relationship or commit to making things work or this is perhaps how they feel they felt as though instead of pulling away or instead of walking away or even letting you walk away um, they felt like they should have fought for the relationship harder so Whilst they are fighting this in the battle, whilst they are fighting their emotions, I feel like this is also someone who feels as though, who's, who has a lot of regrets. This is someone who thought that they were going to spend, they were going to build a life with you. And this is someone who thought that they were willing to put in the time. They were willing to put in the time. They saw a future for this relationship, for this connection. They saw a future for what this could be. But there was also something about the relationship that, I feel like this person struggled to trust themselves. This is someone who struggled to trust what they felt. They felt some very strong feelings for you, but they were fighting those feelings. This could be someone who, maybe this is someone who pulled away because they are scared of commitment. They are scared of committing themselves. They were scared of losing their individuality, their sense of freedom in a relationship, because I guess that happens a little bit, right? Um, I also feel like because with the Hierophant's energy in reverse, there's just something about them going against tradition. They regret not trusting their feelings. They felt some very strong, intense feelings for you. There's still this energy of, I don't know if it's the person I'm connecting to or if this is the person that you're connected to, but there is still this energy of, unfinished business like things are not done between the both of you even though they are very heavily focused on how things didn't work out or why exactly things didn't work out there's still the two of chalices that we presume stand for behind the cloaked figure so this deep down inside this person feels as though there may be a chance even though it might be a small chance that the two of you might reconnect the two of you might come back to each other 
this is someone who honestly was very attracted to you someone who just thought you were the one for them and someone who was willing to put in the time the work the effort the energy that it would have required to build this and maybe this is someone whom you did have a long-term relationship with someone whom you connected and someone whom you built a relationship with over the years but there's just something about them maybe they were scared of something about them being scared of having a traditional relationship or them being afraid of commitment them being afraid of emotional intimacy vulnerability them being afraid that a relationship would somehow take away their sense of freedom would somehow restrict them this person wishes that they acted differently okay this person is and there was a lot of this person feels like the two of you fought a lot looking back on things they wish that the two of you had communicated differently um this like you guys i don't know if there was a lot of misunderstandings that popped up throughout your relationship or throughout your connection but this person feels as though you the two of you were constantly disagreeing or constantly arguing with one another and it's like you saw things differently you saw things differently from one another maybe your personalities clashed maybe there was just something about your energies which at time for whatever reason just sort of irritated one another um but i feel like their biggest regret was just because if they were going to settle down and if they were going to build a commitment or a relationship with someone it would have been you but there is this energy of them being afraid and i feel like this person pulling away was them acting on their like them acting on their inner rebel this person pulled away because they were kind of rebelling against the idea of a relationship they were rebelling against the idea of commitment there's just something about the energy which which says that this person is like this is someone who is afraid of structure in many ways they are afraid of tradition they are afraid of being tied down they are afraid of the mundane they're afraid of predictability this is a very spontaneous kind of energy this is also very creative a very expressing a very free type of energy and i feel like this person maybe maybe at some point in the relationship they thought that they had lost some sort of like they lost power or they, they were losing themselves and i feel like this is what's caused this individual to step back they do regret not exploring this connection they do regret not surrendering to their feelings um, and just not throwing caution to the wind and taking the leap of faith they regret the way that they did things with you or the way in which they reacted there's a lot of and this person thinks about you a lot or this person thinks about what had happened or what didn't happen i also feel like there's an energy that's present here which tells us that this person is waiting maybe they're waiting for the pain to pass the pain of a dis the, the the disconnection and the separation maybe this person is waiting to to hear from you maybe they're waiting for you to reach out but there is this energy of them waiting there's this energy of them Maybe this is someone who's longing for you. Maybe this is someone who's waiting for a second chance or another encounter. They're still holding on to you. I feel like if you have found yourself thinking about this person lately, it's because their energy is pulling on yours. So this is someone who's still who's still holding on to you on to what could have been who's still holding on to their emotions for you who's still holding on to the imagined future they had for you and they had for the relationship they wanted this i think it's important for the person that is listening and connecting uh, with this they wanted this but they were scared they were scared there was something about them that was just so scared to just dive in heart first 
They were so scared to just take that leap of faith. They were so scared to trust what they were feeling and to trust that what they were feeling was real. This is someone who's still fighting all of those emotions, who's fighting their thoughts and is fighting these type of energies. And I think that, I don't think that this person is still over you. I feel like this person, you were a really big part of their life and that they did see you, like they felt you thought it, you fit into their world quite natural, naturally, naturally, couldn't get that word out. And they did feel like they could see a future with you in it. Okay. In fact, very early on, they saw you in their future. But it's funny because I feel like deep down inside, this person, at the end of the day, they acted the opposite of how they were feeling all along. And I think it was a protective mechanism. I think it was just them trying to protect themselves from being potentially hurt or being potentially rejected in the end. That's not to say that you are going to end up hurting them or rejecting them, but I feel like this person put away because it was a protective mechanism. Because at the end of the day, they acted the opposite of how they truly felt about you and about the possibility of what this could be. And these are your messages, guys. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing. It helps the channel to grow. Keep shining your light and bye for now.